They say that some time ago, the hanged corpse of a woman appeared in the middle of the forest. It was Loretta Swan, a single mom who had an only child, her daughter Lazari. A manuscript was found near the body, written as a goodbye letter, and this is what it said. My dear Lazari, when you read this letter, you will have many unanswered questions. I hope that you can one day forgive me for the pain and agony I've caused you, and especially for leaving you alone from now on. I've been struggling for too long and the madness is consuming my mind. However, before I go, I want you to know the truth. You know I've always been very devout and religious, dedicated to fulfilling the will of God. My faith has always been unshakable, even when I discovered I was hysterical and could never have children. Even then, I simply went on, determined to find love in a righteous and good man. One day, I was in the library checking some books, looking for quotes for a sermon, and I had the feeling someone was watching me. That was the first time I saw him. He was the most handsome man I've ever seen, with a shining and attractive gaze. We smiled at each other until I finally approached him and we introduced ourselves to each other. His name was Evan Harrison. Shortly after, we started going out and I opened my heart to him almost by accident. It was inevitable as there was something very captivating about him, something unreal and divine. I trusted him with my life and my secrets, although he never wanted to talk about himself. He knew I was sterile, but even then he convinced me to try having the child I so much desired. And somehow we did it. I got pregnant and I started to think he was some kind of divine being. And that's how I gave birth to you, Lazare. And you had the same divine and captivating aura your father had. However, little by little, everything turned dark and evil. Evan suddenly disappeared, abandoning me without explanation. And despite that, you and me kept going forward. You grew up happily by my side, and every day I loved you more. Everything changed the day of your fourth birthday. Your captivating aura transformed into something evil. Your eyes no longer reflected innocence. Instead, they reflected a red glimmer, like the fires of hell. I started doing research and reading religious books, looking for an explanation of what was happening. One day, while I was reading at home, I heard horrifying screams in the yard. Ah! I ran outside and I saw you attacking our neighbor, who was lying on the ground. I saw you biting and devouring his flesh, as if you were a ravenous dog attacking his prey. Even your body had mutated, as you now had claws, hooves, pointed teeth, and a strange opening in your chest, like a second mouth. When I called you, you went back to your normal form and ran to hug me with tears in your eyes. I couldn't allow anyone to find out about this. I couldn't allow anyone to snatch my Lazari away from me. Thus, I got rid of the corpse and chained you up in the basement. I spent many sleepless nights researching what was happening until I finally found an answer. Zalgo. Your father is a demon and I gave myself to him in order to create you. And the worst part is that now you are transforming into a dark being, losing your heart in the process. That's why I locked myself in the basement with you and did whatever I could to expel that evil within you. All the rituals and suffering I made you go through were for you to become the same sweet girl you used to be. But I was hurting you too much with those exorcisms and I was hurting myself too. I even tried to look for Zalgo and summon it, but it never answered my call. Damn him a thousand times for destroying my life and my daughter's life. Now it wants to capture you and use you through me, but I will not allow him to do it. So please, listen to me, Lazari. Run away as far as you can, be always alert and do not trust anyone. I love you and will always love you. The little eight-year-old Lazari, while hacking her teddy bear, was observing the corpse of her mother hanging from a tree. Lazari was now alone and had nowhere to go. She started to wander through the forest until she bumped into a strange figure. 
It was a tall and faceless man wearing a suit who also had tentacles coming out of his back. Lazari wanted to know him and be his friend, so she extended her hand. The figure took her by the hand and took her with him. Lazari Natalie Swan is the protagonist of the creepy pasta comic I Eat Pasta for Breakfast. She's a human demon hybrid known as a Zalgoid. She was found by a Slenderman in a forest and lives in a house with other creepy pastas. Sometimes she transforms involuntarily and attacks other supernatural beings to devour them, although she no longer attacks humans. She can only see in different shades of red and is unable to perceive other colors. On her back, she has severe scars she got when her mother tried to expel the demon inside of her body. However, just like any other 8-year-old girl, she likes playing, coloring, and being around people. She gets along very well with Lulu, who is like her older sister, and is also secretly in love with eyeless Jack, especially because he also eats his victims. But that is only when she's in her human form, her more innocent and harmless form. When she attacks, she adopts her hungry form, and she behaves in a completely savage way. She acts like an animal trying to hunt to prey, without any kind of mercy. When she goes back to her human form, she's incapable of remembering what happened, and she also seems regretful for whatever she might have done. She also has a third form, her Zalgoid form, which she has adopted in several locations but nobody has seen. And this is fortunate, because that is her most violent and lethal form where she displays her demonic essence in its purest form. If you enjoy